my first salary was 10,000 rupees. My second salary was 50,000 rupees. And with the help of certain DevOps certifications, I have reached to a maximum salary that any DevOps and SRE engineer can think of. I will tell you all the details at the end of this video. But before that, let me tell you, if you are a zero to three years of experience, three to six years of experience, six to 10 years of experience and 10 plus years of experience, what are the types of certifications that you need to do to crack your dream job? In today's video, I will discuss everything. Before starting the video, make sure you like the video. The like target for this video is 300 plus likes. Along with that, comment down certificate and I'll be sharing you this complete roadmap of various kinds of certifications with the data points, with the topics and the complete roadmap of the experiences different kinds of certifications, everything is written here. So going on to this video, first of all, let me tell you about my certification journey in DevOps and SRE. I started my career with Infosys as a Java developer and slowly moved into a DBA admin and then slowly worked on testing and finally touched based on DevOps. But at my three years of completion, I converted my complete resume as a DevOps engineer and migrated myself as a DevOps, right? And uh, after joining Infosys, the most of the things were like here and there because I was a fresher. I was not knowing what to learn from where to learn, who can help me. There was no one, right? So whatever I, I did, uh, I did on myself learning itself and completely I transformed as a DevOps engineer. The second company was Verizon where I joined as a DevOps engineer too. When I joined as a DevOps engineer too, because I completed completely uh, transformed my resume as a DevOps engineer, right? Uh, so in Verizon, I was a DevOps engineer two guy. So all the tech stack, all the tools, all the systems were completely new to me. And in that space of learning, <clears throat> it was a little bit difficult. But what had helped me was the DevOps certifications. Now, after joining Verizon in the span of two and a half years, I completed three certifications. One, the Kubernetes certification. The second one, uh, the Red Hat certified system administrator, basically Linux certification. And the third one is Ansible certification. These three certifications have helped me to achieve the maximum salary when I was transitioning from Verizon to Walmart. Now coming on to my journey, you heard how these certificates have helped me. I'll tell you a small story. I used to wake up at 6 a.m. and at 7 a.m. I used to attend the Linux training. 9 a.m. to 10 a.m. I used to go over with my uh, other certifications. Like I have taken trainings on Udemy also for AWS, right? And in the between the span, and I used to manage my office hours. At the same time, I used to manage my uh, my uh, interviews also. Right in the evening, I used to apply to the maximum jobs, and morning also I used to spend some time to apply to the maximum jobs. So I recommend anyone who is watching this video make sure you are following certain roadmap and certain timetable to crack any kind of opportunities. Now let's discuss. Because I was confident in learning these things and attaining my certification, I was actually clearing most of the interviews because DevOps and SRE starts with Linux. They go into depth of DevOps tools. Then they go on to Kubernetes because of these things. I have cracked Walmart. I will tell you the truth, right? Now coming on to someone who is zero to three years of experience, what are the things that you should learn? Because someone tried to do the solutions architect role, someone who is uh, like zero years of experience, they have solutions architect, but you need to understand the term architect is very, very major and only experienced people have to do that. So I, in this video, I will make everything clear. I hope you have liked this video. If you have not liked this video, like the video and comment down certificate. I will share this document directly with you. Now coming on to zero to three years of experience, the first goal of you should be strong DevOps skills. You should be someone who should be able to understand what is DevOps, the principles, the understandings, the hands-on, the integrations and everything for you. AWS, GCP or any kind of cloud associate certificate should be the priority. The next one should be Docker certificate and the next one should be Terraform. So zero to three years of experience first target these three certificates along with that for all these things the linux is primary uh, but as of now you can learn linux on my channel or on my website also www.hdevops.in now 
I will tell like all these things as a common I will keep. So Linux is very common. So I, after Linux, you can do GCP or AWS associate Docker and Terraform, right? Once you are three plus years, Lao Praveen, what certifications should I do? For three to six years of experience, Kubernetes is a must certificate. So Kubernetes, CI, CD or infrastructure as a code, this should be your primary goals and coming on to the certifications and skills. Certified Kubernetes administrator, Jenkins, any kind of pipelines and the knowledge certification you can do and Terraform infra certifications you can do. Six to eight years of experience, main focus should be on the SRE skills and the scaling infra, right? So when you are growing like five plus years of experience, how do you scale an infra? How do you make it robust? What are the things that you will put into this architecture to make it reliable for the customers, right? So those things will be playing an important role. So make sure that you focus on SRE and the infra spanning or infra scaling roles. So certified Kubernetes security specialist is the one monitoring stack. You can do any kind of certifications and the incident management. You can take any kind of certifications. Eight to 10 plus years of experience. Your goal is as a lead architect role and also remote roles should be your goal. So here DevOps Pro certificates, you can do strong knowledge of the GitHub interviews. Along with that, you, you have to do all the certifications that are there in AWS, you can target AWS solutions architect because you are at a lead on an architect role. You can also target some kind of AWS DevOps certificates. You can also target AWS SysOps certificates also. Now, one more important thing I wanted to tell you <clears throat> when we are talking about the path to 50 LPA roadmap, we need to be particularly making sure that whatever the levels are, if I'm talking about three to six years of experience, the below certificates you should be able to complete, right? Then only target the other certificates. For my case, because there was no one to guide, I did Linux, I did Kubernetes, I did uh, AWS also, I did learnings, not certificate, but uh, Ansible, I did certifications, right? So if you see like 40 to 50,000 rupees I spent on these certifications, right? Uh, and I would recommend if your company is not sponsoring and if you are not able to uh, put that much money, at least learn from the resources wherever you get it because yes, certification is definitely mandatory, but learnings are more important. What did you experience? What did you gain the knowledge from these certifications will definitely going to help you. Apart from this, one small suggestion uh, to you all is that make sure whenever you are doing certification to prepare the notes, I have already shared my DevOps notes right with you all. So in that format for at least one certification, one note, one certification, one note, other certification, other notes, it will help you in the longer run to scale the things and to understand and quick interview preparation, it will help you. So you understood my journey, my certifications, and you also understood if anyone is falling under these brackets, what type of certifications, what type of roles, what type of learnings you need to make it. I have told you, I hope you have liked this video. The common certificates are Linux, Kubernetes and Infra and Cloud. These four will be common, but depending on your experience, depending on your taste, depending on your type of environment of the work and um, anyone who is going to mentor you, if he's telling something, grab that. Ultimately, at least two or three certifications in your resume add stars to your resume definitely so with that said all the best to everyone those who are searching for jobs apply to the maximum opportunities at least 50 to 60 opportunities in a day so that five percent of those opportunities are converted as a calls to you and you get a chance to sit in the at least two interviews so with that said i will say thanks to all my subscribers my loved ones for supporting me and make sure that you do the certifications i will also share some links from where you can achieve these certifications, right? So make sure you follow this channel, like the video and comment down certificate to get the document. So until then, take care and bye.